<laughs> Allow me to welcome you to our dimension. I consider myself to be an OG when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I saw the original series and I saw the majority of GX, but everything after that, I kind of fell off. The most recent piece of Yu-Gi-Oh! that I did see, however, was the Dark Side of Dimensions Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. This featured the original cast along with a brand new villain, Aigami. Aigami played a new archetype called Cubic Monsters, which I thought looked really cool in the movie, so that motivated me to playing this deck on Duel Links and now, of course, in Master Duel. This deck does a lot of stuff. If I want to sit back and watch you burn, I can do that. If I want to overwhelm you with multiple attacking monsters, I I can do that. If I want to shut you down and watch you not be able to attack or use your effects, I can also do that. Do I need to say more, man? Let's just hit the like button. Let's do this. So I will say that cubic decks have like two variations. There's the one that like is super burn intensive. And don't get me wrong. My deck does have some burn elements to it, but it's not 100% a burn deck. Mine has a nice balance between beating the hell out of my opponent's monsters and also burning them on the side. Yes. Trade in. Are you playing blue eyes? You are playing blue eyes. Okay, Marcos. Okay, brings out the maiden. So he has a couple tuners. He might go into a synchro summon. All right. Yep. Blue eyes, uh, spirit dragon. Spirit could be a headache with my deck because, uh, spoiler alert, all these cubic spells and traps have graveyard effects. All right, draw. I did not get a good starting hand at all. We're going to do this. So he's definitely going to banish one of these. I'm just going to hope he doesn't banish the one that I don't want him to banish. <laughs> What he can do is he can tag his spirit out and bring Azure Eyes in. He chooses not to. Okay. But that would have allowed him to special summon this. And this is the card that would banish one of these cards. So the reason why I stacked up the back row completely is because I didn't get a good starting hand. So this is the card I do not want to be banished. So I'm just going to pop this now just so it can go to the graveyard and I don't have to risk it being banished. What Cubic Ascension does is it allows me to special summon a V-Jom from my deck onto the field. And whatever monster was attacking is forced to attack it. And you'll see why that's a problem. All right, V-Jom onto the field. Boom, you have to attack it. V-Jom can't be destroyed by battle, but once it is, once it's attacked, I can send it to my spell and trap zone. After that happens, you get a Cubic Counter onto whatever monster. Having a Cubic Counter is not good for you. What the Cubic Counter does is it prevents any monster with that counter from attacking or using their effect. Not a bad pickup. I'll bring my V-Jom back onto the field. It was never destroyed by battle. This is a different dimension. Bring out V-Jom, the cubic C. Next, I'll activate my monster gate. I contribute one monster and then excavate my deck until I excavate a card that can be normal summoned. So all these cards are gonna be sent to the graveyard. Again, all of these spells and traps that are cubic themed have graveyard effects. So this is good for me. Now I'll bring out my Dooza, the meteor cubic vessel and pop his effects. I can send any cubic from my deck to the graveyard. I'll send my cubic karma away activate cubic karma's graveyard effect once banished i can grab any cubic monster from my deck and add it to the hand finally he's gonna take this spirit dragon out of here oh you're just negating my effect okay i'll use cubic causality what cubic causality does is i can add any cubic counters just like this one up to the amount of cubic monsters that i have on the field so he does have a good move that he could do right now but let's see if he does it He's actually doing it. Good job. Okay, so he's dodging the effect, but I can still add these counters onto another monster. And luckily, ooh, I could actually add it onto Azure Eyes. Yeah, let's add it onto Azure Eyes. So now Azure Eyes won't be able to uh, special summon Blue Eyes next turn. No, you don't. You don't activate that because you have a cubic counter. Well, luckily it's not limited to one per turn, so I'll banish my other cubic karma to get whatever cubic monster I want. I'll grab yet another Crimson Nova. Guess I'll just move towards battle here. We'll get rid of one of these maidens. No maidens. Uh, your effect does not activate. I'm sorry. Wait. Ooh, I forgot I put the counter on uh, Azure Eyes. I've made a mistake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm a little worried now. Why does Azure Eyes get destroyed? Okay, whatever. I'm sure he thinks he can turn the tides. So let's let him. Oh, this one's effect isn't going to work. I'll tell you that much right now, bro. Oh, but I think it does still pop maiden's effect. Yeah. All right, two blue eyes on the field. By all means, attack. Oh no, not Link Rebo. Ah, no, not him. Right, unification of cubic lords. Graveyard effect. If one of my cubic monsters are destroyed, I can special summon any level four or lower cubic monster. And I think I'll bring out one of my handy dandy V joms. Nice try. Mm, I was waiting for that one. Perhaps you should read next time, Marcos. You're spending 70 minutes per turn and you're not reading my cards. 
You're just reading yours. What are you reading? The legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Let me put you out of your misery. So first V-Jom's effect, I bring it back onto the field. I'll activate Crimson Nova's effect. I reveal three cubic monsters to special summon it. Then I'll activate my cubic wave. I'll target my Crimson Nova and have your blue eyes attack and double mine. Now I'll move in for the attack. Crimson Nova, destroy this blue eyes. Guess what? Crimson Nova is unaffected by other monsters effects. Feel all of this damage. You can bring it back as much as you'd like. It's not going to do anything. Ah! <laughs> Did I mention that my Crimson Nova can attack twice? Go on, activate your effect. Go on. No, oh, you just didn't want to join, okay. Ah! Did I mention that this duel is over? I end my turn and, uh, oh, you take 3,000 damage. Nap, 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 ah! I, I take 3,000 damage as well. I can work with this hand. I can work with this hand. He has five cards in his extra. Did you really just, I'm just kind of hoping for a challenge, I guess. I don't know if you're gonna be able to provide that because I activate Cubit Karma's graveyard effect. Add my Crimson Nova to the hand. I'll reveal three Cubit cards to special summon my Crimson Nova. I'll play my Cubit Karma. Discard three V-Joms. Play this face down, I guess. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Just take it. Just come on, man. He's accepting his fate. Yes, proceed to battle, bro. Just let me be his that. Come on, man. My cubic monsters are hungry. The reason why I like going second is because I like to be able to attack multiple times and stuff like that. And going first just kind of means I do something and then look at the opponent and hope. If that's your only move, you better... I see Ash Blossom on your card covers. I see Ash Blossom as your mate. You better have an Ash Blossom. I will tell you that much because if not, could be in trouble. First, I'll play Dooza, the Meteor Cubic Vessel. I can throw any Cubic card from my deck to the graveyard. You had Ash Blossom. I think you would have been able to negate this. I'll throw my Cubic Karma away. Then I can banish my Cubic Karma to grab any cubic monster from my deck and add it to the hand, I'll grab my Crimson Nova. I'll reveal three cubic cards in my hand to special summon Crimson Nova. Then I'll activate my cubic karma's effect. I can send as many V-Jumps from my deck to the graveyard and gain 800 attack per. So I'll send three to boost me up to 5,400. Then I'll play my cubic Dharma. I can discard one cubic monster to draw a card. And then I'll play my foolish burial goods and I'll discard one of my spells or traps and I'll throw this one away. First, I'll attack with my Crimson Nova. Ah! Add one Shadal spell or trap to the hand. Mm, okay. Picked up a fusion card. That must mean you think you're going to actually get to play. I'll attack again with Crimson Nova. Ah! And then Dooza, the Meteor Cubic Vessel. Ah! Oh, and then I'll end my turn. Oh, yeah. Did I mention Crimson Nova does 3,000 damage? At <laughs> Welcome to our dimension. I would apologize, but unfortunately, I'm not sorry. I just made this deck last night, man. The only reference that I had was my previous Duel Links deck that I also made from scratch. So when I get people asking, what's the deck list? Just try to make it yourself. It's fun that way for me. And that's why I'm trying to get other people to have fun too, man. I definitely press second, but all right, I guess. It's not even a shame. It's not even like, oh, my deck's so good that I don't want to share it with anyone. No, it's... Have fun making your own deck. Try yourself. You're getting all of these tips by just watching how I play the deck. That should be enough, right? Hopefully. All right. Uh, how do I want to play this? I'm going to play this face down just as a bait so I can get him to destroy it. And I'm just going to hope he doesn't have an Ash Blossom here because if he does, I probably lose. Monster Gate. I contribute one card and then excavate cards into the graveyard from the top of my deck until I land on a card that can be normal summoned, which is only two cards that I have. So as you can see, we're throwing all these cards into the graveyard and it may seem risky and obviously some cards I don't want to throw away. But then I get to special summon this V-Jom. I get a few graveyard effects that will definitely come in handy, but you'll see that later. Now I'll actually pop my Cubic Dharma's graveyard effect. I can banish this card from the graveyard and grab any monster from my graveyard and add it to the hand, any Cubic monster. I'll grab my Crimson Nova and uh, I'll call that a turn. Beauty of having V-Jom on the field, as you guys have seen, is he can't be destroyed by battle, can be destroyed by card effect, but we'll have to see what this guy is able to do. Neos Fusion? I don't know how Neos is going to do against this deck, but I might be surprised. We'll see. 
I have to say Nels because of Dotto, man. Anyway, I don't know what this card intends on doing, but if you think it's going to do anything, you're probably wrong unless you can play some other stuff. Blow Moss. Oh, oh dear. Okay, attack me directly. Not a big deal. All right. And now I'm sure you think you get an effect after that, but uh, no. Now you have a cubic counter. You have no effects and uh, your card is pretty much dead weight. He can't attack, can't use effects. What will you do next? This glow moss could be annoying to deal with. Actually, no, because uh, Crimson Nova, he, he got something to say to you here in a second. Draw. Oh, do I win here? Hold up. Hello. You are in trouble. First, I'll play Foolish Burial Goods. I can throw any of my spell or traps into the graveyard from my deck. Causality. I'll activate my Crimson Nova's effect and special summon it. There's all three. Come forth. Crimson Nova. The card that I just sent away. Cubic Causality. I'll banish it and give my Crimson Nova an extra little beneficial effect. Now, any card that I destroy that has a cubic counter you'll take effect damage equal to its original attack. So 2,500 once I destroy it. Then I'll play my cubic wave, just to add a little more insult to injury, doubling my attack and having yours. Then I'll activate v Jom's effect. Then I'll play my Dooza, the Meteor Cubic Vessel. Oh, there's nothing you can do. There's simply nothing you can do. You're in trouble. I'm gonna just throw this away for no real reason. Oh, and I could bring out Buster Gundam. Oh, I can double up my cubic wave? Why would I not? I'm gonna just see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna just see what happens. Go, finish this duel. Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, annihilate. What you doing over there? No, oh no, I got too far ahead of myself. I didn't pay attention to that. You saved yourself, good. I should have paid attention to that. You're pretty much running the Dotto deck over here. Banish my Cubic Karma to grab any Cubic monster I desire. I'll grab my Crimson Nova. Your Glow Moss is gonna be pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so I'll banish one of my Cubic Waves and I'll banish one of my Buster Gundils. No, I didn't mean to grab both. I meant to, I thought I just clicked one. Oh, I got rid of a V-Jump. That was a mistake. All right, negate Glow Moss's effect and put another counter on Brave Neo. So you may be wondering, why would I get rid of this Crimson Nova with all this attack? It's honestly just because I've had bad experience experiences when I was first running this deck with them taking my card and that's a lot of damage this is going to be a safety net if anything I'll send all three of my monsters to the graveyard to bring out Buster Gundil the cubic behemoth when a cubic card is sent to my graveyard I can activate unifications effect and special summon any cubic monster from my deck I'll bring out Dooza because Dooza allows me to throw away a cubic card and I'll throw away my karma the reason why I'm throwing away my karma is because then I can banish Karma and pick up my other Crimson Nova. Now, the reason why this is important is because if I can draw this unification of Cubic Lords card, I need three of these to bring out the ultimate Cubic Monster, which is kind of my goal at this point. All right, so I'll end my turn, send it back to him. I've never been able to summon it. I haven't super tried yet, but basically this guy. I want to be surprised by his effect. I don't even want to read his effect. I just know he's strong. It's like the Blue Eyes ultimate dragon of the Cubic deck, okay? So he tributes both, probably for regular Neos. Oh, can't play anything in response to that. That's that's pretty scary. Because now if you get rid of my Buster Gundil, do I not get my graveyard effect for Buster Gundil? Let's see. I do get my graveyard effect for Buster Gundil. Okay, so I'll get to special summon this V-Jump along with this Dooza. And, ooh, and I get to add any cubic monster to my hand or a card to my hand. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We'll pick up the trap and then Dooza's effect. I'll send away a Cubic Dharma because Cubic Dharma's graveyard effect, which I'll show you next turn, I'll be able to pick up my uh, Assault Armor, whatever. I'll be able to pick up my Crimson Nova next turn. Okay, Neos Fusion. Bring it out. Let's see it. Make your best move. You're gonna need it because uh, there's a monster on its way. A full-fledged monster. Rainbow Neos. Shuffle all your monsters. Okay, whatever. Now that would be devastating if uh, if it just wasn't. It just, it simply is not. First, I'll activate my Cubic Dharma's effect. Cubic Dharma allows me to pick up a Cubic monster from my graveyard and add it to the hand. I'll bring Crimson Nova to my hand. Then I guess I'll use my Cubic Wave. You guys don't remember, if I banish one Cubic monster, I can add a Cubic counter onto one of his cards to negate its effects. So now this Neos won't be nearly as pesky. This card face down. 
I should have played Crimson Nova first because then I would have gotten its effect to deal some damage, but this is still fine. All right, now your Rainbow Neos with one cubic counter is useless. 4,500? Oh no, what am I gonna do? 4,500, ah, whoa, no, not 4,500, ah. All right, Harpy's Feather Duster in reaction. I'll show you my bar. Unification of the Cubic Lords. Prepare to meet the ultimate monster, the ultimate beast. By tributing three Crimson Novas, I call forth the monster. Crimson Nova Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord. Now what will you do? Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. When this card declares an attack, have your opponent's life points. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can activate this effect. This card can make a second attack. You take effect damage, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the damage you took. The only issue is we're the exact same attack and I have nothing that prevents me from being destroyed by battle, which is an issue. But it looks like we're at a standstill. Your level 10 Rainbow Nils versus my level 10 Crimson Nova Trinity. Looks like we're at a standstill until I draw my third and final cubic wave. Then it's all over. So it's just a ticking time bomb at this point. I guess it's whoever draws that game winning card first. I still didn't get it. E emergency call. Add one elemental hero monster from your deck to you. You better not play it. Don't make a mistake. Okay, you better you better have a big move. No, you have a cube. No, bro, that's not gonna work. Okay, you saved yourself because at least the card went away. But you're not, you don't get effects, bro. You have a cubic counter. You are forever plagued. Bro. Oh my gosh. I'm just wondering to see if he can break through. Even if he somehow gets over this monster, he's cooked. Be a one fusion monster from your extra deck, then send one of those fusion materials whose name. Oh, Link Summon. Predaplant. Okay, you're tired of me. Go ahead, Dan. Be tired of me. Did you just lose? Did you just make a mistake? Please tell me you didn't make that mistake. You got rid of Rainbow. All right. Behold the true baller. Behold the true baller. Cubic Dharma. I activate Cubic Dharma. Discard Cubic Ascension. Pick up a card. <laughs> I don't even need to do it. I don't even need to do it. I don't even need to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay. I'll attack and have your life points. <laughs> I have his life points down to 4,000. He had 500 attack at 4,500, so it was enough to finish him off. But even if in some miraculous way he survived, I could have attacked again with that beast of a monster. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more cubics, let me know and I will bring that to you because they hungry to body some more people. I think I'm going to get to platinum with this with this deck right now. I'll, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.